Are you looking for a podcast about one man's mission to buy back the very last Blu-ray of Dead Alive on Earth? Well, you must be thinking of another podcast. Good afternoon, Kelsey. Good evening, Kelsey. Whatever time it is. Good. Good. 6 15 p.m robert yes well it's still pretty daylight outside i don't know what's going on yeah we're past daylight savings now it's you know i am enjoying the extra daylight because now i can go outside in the evenings and not feel like i'm gonna die do you go outside in the evenings oh for your walks right yeah i like to go out for a nice walk in the evening but you know when the sun says, that's when the creepers come out. Yeah, I kind of said that like, ew, outside. Outside? Who goes outside? What is that? I haven't fucking been outside for like three weeks though, because, okay, so last we left our heroes, Robert, you were about to make a big move. Yes. And you've made that move. I have since made that move and have a dedicated area to make content for you fine, lovely people. Dedicated content making studio. That is right. And in that little time frame, I was like, you know what? I might as well renovate my shower because last last July, which is a very long time ago, I accidentally ripped off <laughs> a piece of the shower. Uh, so I have I have a bad habit like, of just like shower like tile. Well. So, it's like a shower bath combo, and it has like a little soap dish on the side, you know? Yeah. I just gently, so gently touched that soap dish, and half the wall just crumbled off in my hand. No, you didn't. You were like, yes. trying to stand up on it. I wasn't, though. You were like, I gotta get out of the tub, and like, use all of your weight on that thing. <laughs> just put both hands and crank down on it. <laughs> no, like, it was it was a mess. I had tile and just pieces parts all in the bath water and I was like this is not an enjoyable bath anymore so um yeah so I figured it was just the tile wall that was messed up can you hear my husband just screaming back there I just heard like oh my god he's like we're gonna play rocket league but we're gonna do it real quiet it's not quiet (laughs) (laughs) anyway I mean I mean I get that loud during Lucio ball so I think I understand (laughs) um so the tile, uh, we were like, it should be pretty easy just to like get the rest of the tile off and then we'll put new tile on. It's not going to be that difficult. We won't hire anybody. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we started taking the tile off the wall and just chunks of the actual wall are coming off in our hands. Like just like, like drywall? Yes, yeah, like pieces of drywall. And it, it turned out, I thought, so we pulled off these pieces and I saw like this brown chunky stuff back there and i was like that's mold we have to stop we have to call people so we like called insurance and they came out and Uh i was like we have black mold it's right here and they were like that's termites i was like oh even better because termites suck Um, so like because because you sent me a picture and so i wasn't sure is that like termite holes that makes like that look or is it like termite poop it's a little bit of everything like they so they tunnel through the the wood you know and then they just like shit it all out behind them so yeah. the whole wall was like full of just termite shit essentially. just stuff yeah. yeah and uh so we had to like pull off all of the walls like down to the studs the bathroom was a mess God. It was awful and then we had to there's so there's so many steps in construction like you see on yeah. HGTV, like, the little wife, and she's got, like, a sledgehammer, and she's like, we're about to break down this wall, it's going to be so fun and easy, and then they, like, break it down, and there's a little montage, and they have a new shower, and that's not how it happens. <laughs> just want you to know, it was, like, it was, like, 25 days of hard, solid work. Uh, we're still going through it. I was gonna say, because, we... like, we were going to record some in the meantime, and I was like, oh, wait, I forgot that, like, we have to do, like, a whole prep for a whole step first. Yeah. Can't do that today. It's ridiculous. Like, so we would start doing something, and then we're like, oh, crap, we need a tool for this. So we go to Home Depot and, like, buy a tool, and then we get back home, and we finish up what we were doing, but then you need, like, another piece part for the tool, so you have to go back to Home Depot, and they don't sell that piece part, so you have to go to Lowe's, <laughs> and they don't have it either, so you have to go bother it from your 
bother it, borrow it from your father-in-law. That's kind of like bothering it. Yeah, just go bother your father-in-law. Can I trouble you for a piece, please? <laughs> Hello, your mother-in-law is here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So yeah, we finished up grouting finally today. My can body I? Is can broken. I ask a question about that though? Please. How ask come? Me a how come? Every time you like need kind of like a specific part or piece. The two places that should have it, Home Depot and Lowe's, that are typically they don't either fucking have it. side by side or across the street <laughs> from each other, just go, go to the other one. Yeah. They always I, say, go to the other one. Yeah, uh, Home Depot should have that. I just came from Home Depot. They don't have it. They Wait. told me to go to Lowe's. Yeah, I know. They said, come here. Well, I can't. I've never seen this before in my life. I can't. Why do you have the apron on? Give me the apron. I want the orange apron. I cannot I'm stand the Home it. Depot. Like, huh. like, I went there for some screws one time. I just needed these screws. And I had, like, the screw type. I was like, I just need one that looks like this. Yep. And they for real did the same thing. Like, oh, I've, I've never seen a screw like this before. <laughs> I've done that, too. Like, with a specific screw. We were putting together a cat tree. And, like, the screw that came with it was so stupid. They, like, they printed the threading wrong. So uh, it's supposed to have threading equally on both sides with like a little space in the center of the screw because it screws into like two things. Okay. And they printed the center of it like two thirds of the way down the screw. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. So we went to Home Depot and they were like, what does this supposed to put together? It's like, it's a cat tree. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Okay. Well, we don't sell cat trees, so we don't have screws that go to those. Yeah, and so we go to Lowe's, and they're like, we don't have a screw like this. I've never seen a screw like this in my 40 years. Oh my <laughs> so we had to, like, order it from, I don't know, the internet. It's Chinese screws coming through. Shouldn't these handymen have, like, seen it all? Isn't that, I like, know. the whole point of them is that, well, I've, I've come across everything. How do you get a job at a hardware store and, like, I... I guess there's just, you know, a billion different things you're supposed to know. And then you have to ask somebody who's, like, in the screw department because you can't ask the guy in the light bulb department because he's never looked at a screw in his life, apparently. Yeah, I mean, he he screws in light bulbs, not screws, okay? (laughs) It's very different. Yeah, so that has been my life for three weeks. And the shitty thing, what a... Okay, there's a lot of bad things about this, but the worst thing is that the very first week that we were doing this, like the day we started demolition, Richard got sick. And I'm like, okay, so I can probably handle most of the demolition on my own. How hard could it be to tear down a wall? It's very difficult to tear down a wall. It is very (laughs) difficult, even if it's full of termites. So he was sick for the first week of construction. And then when he started feeling better, I got sick. So I was sick for all week. Uh, And it's just been... You two are just so made for one another. You just trade off the sicknesses... Oh, yeah, I do remember when you said that, because you were like, yeah, I let him out of quarantine, and oh, no, nope, yes. shouldn't have done that. I know, like, the day we ceased quarantine procedures, he <laughs> seemed fine. Uh, I'm going to pop open this seltzer, I'm getting heated. Okay. Ooh, a nice pop. Crispy. <sighs> yeah, you've had a, a, well, I mean, I guess it, the move has been quite eventful. Um, yeah, tell me about your neighbors, because you've already told me, but I want you to tell the listeners. Oh, well, so, FYI, her doormat's gone, so I think she's already left. Oh, really? Just took the doormat and left? I don't know. I'm taking my doormat, I'm getting out of here. But so, it was so hard just to get into this place, because, like, you're supposed to do all these different procedures, but we got a new management thing, so they were like, well, let's just forget this, and we'll do this instead, and so we finally get moved in. After, I say like after, like it was a long time. It was actually really, really fast, but just nobody knew what they were doing. (laughs) So we get moved in. We're here for the second day, the second night. And we go to take the dogs out and like all these people are outside in the little like common area by the stairs, right? And we're like, oh, I wonder what's going on here. Just kind of make our way past. And this lady looks down, like, over the railing and just goes, Do y'all eat brown eggs? <laughs> and we look up above us, because, I mean, we're down the stairs, and we're like, No, we don't like brown eggs. And then just, like, march away real quick. So then we come back <laughs> up, and there's even more people 
out in the, like, area. And the one that asks us if we like brown eggs is still staring at us. And then this other lady comes up and goes, don't mind my sister. I already know what's going on. And we're like, (laughs) well, we'd like to know what's going on. So she goes, oh, well, somebody said that we're being too loud and they egged our door. That's so sad. Like, threw eggs at our door when we had just come home from somewhere and heard nothing. Like, these people were not loud. Like, at all. People in apartment complexes are so sensitive to noise. Yeah. So, so this lady, and then, and then she goes, I mean, I don't even know why you ask them. Like, we know it's her. She's thrown other food at our door before. (laughs) (laughs) So she's like, she's like a food thrower, this lady. (laughs) She's just like, I'm mad at you. Steaks. Steaks. I mean, you get a free steak out of it, though. Yeah, so, you know, it's like a win-win. The eggs are a loss, but the steak, keep that. Yeah. So, they had called the cops because this lady apparently loves to call the cops on everyone else. So, they were like, let's return the favor. So, the cops come. Yeah, how do, you, how do you, like, call the cops on somebody and then throw eggs at them? Yeah. Like, you're going to get the cops called on you. I know. So, we just go like hide out in the apartment and we just hear all this commotion and i mean they must have already called the cops because like that dude showed up like he was there (laughs) and so then we get a little knock later hello and so we open it and it's the ladies that got egged and they were like we just wanted to give you an update um so the cops uh, said you know we should just we should just avoid her um just avoid her not now, now, his words, not mine, but he said, not everybody's a full box of crayons. So sometimes <laughs> you just need to stay away from certain people. Oh my god. <laughs> but the good thing was she was supposed to be moving soon. Good. Well, it's been like, all right, so we moved in. It's been like two weeks to the day and her doormat is gone. Just vanished. So I'm guessing within the two weeks of this egging, like, yeah, she's actually gone. But, dear listeners, that was day two. The next day, I was setting up this here little recording studio and game room to play loud ass shit with her (laughs) wall right next to me. The egg lady's wall is right next to yours? Yeah, that's who I'm attached to. So it's like, oh my god, this room is going to get us so much free food. (laughs) So, like, I've been trying to keep it down. I've been playing with all the surround sound levels, like, doing all this stuff. And I think she banged on the wall one time. Oh, no. But I don't know because, like, it didn't happen again. So, like, you heard this banging, but we didn't know what it was. And then it never happened again. All right. But so, eventful. But now that that doormat's gone and I'm buying some premium acoustic foam, I know that it doesn't take the sound away but it should muffle some and then help the sound in here because i know that some listeners probably have extreme experience with that stuff and i know yeah acoustic foam doesn't soundproof but i kind of thought it did and that's why i bought it (laughs) (laughs) well it's gonna make it sound incredible in there so so should be good better quality will be coming soon man i remember in college my the first roommate that I had once I moved out of the dorms, her name was Caitlin, mm-hmm. and she was the most sensitive person to any sound. I swear she started just hallucinating sounds and blaming me for it. Like, she wouldn't... So we lived in, like, a little a fourplex kind of thing, so there was, like, four bedrooms and then a central um, kitchen and living room that all the girls shared. Yeah. And I had to share a bathroom with Caitlin, and then the other girls on the other side had a bathroom. And... So in the middle of the night, like two in the morning, she would come knocking on my door and be like, hey, um, can you stop meowing? Because I can hear you through the walls and it's really, it's keeping me awake. Stop meowing? She wanted me to stop meowing at two in the morning. I don't believe I've ever heard you meow, Kelsey. <laughs> I wasn't meowing at two in the morning. I don't know. She was just. You didn't own cats then. no. Oh my god, she was nuts. Like she that just is scary. It's the most 
bizarre thing. She she would knock on my door like six times a night, be like, hey, oh can God. you keep it down? I'm sleeping. Like, I'm keeping it as down <laughs> as I physically can. <laughs> that reminds me of this time I was at my grandpa's house. So he had married another lady after my grandma died, right? And right. they were living together, and her son, because they had like a big ranch, lived there too. Hmm. And so I was watching a movie in this living room so far away from like his bedroom right and i was watching just to put a date to it i was watching mortal kombat the first movie okay (laughs) and so i'm watching this movie and i remember he came out and he was like yeah could you turn it down i was like all right yeah i probably got it loud so i turned it down the tv to like 10 right yeah he comes back out later hey could you turn it down again so i take it from 10 to 5 (laughs) <laughs> and then he goes, ah, oh, it's still too loud. I took it to one, and he told could... me that it was too loud again, so I was like, I'm turning off this movie. I gotta go to bed. Could you even, like, hear it in the room that you were in? No, I was sitting right in front of the TV, like, struggling to hear it, and he comes out, oh, yeah, could you turn that down again? Sorry. Oh, my God. Like, dude, I am he was in nice. here, and I can't <laughs> hear it. Just take your hearing aids out, Grandpa. Is the sound, like, funneling through... Is that the problem? The sound's coming out somewhere else that I should be sitting? Yeah, maybe there's like a tube behind the TV going through the walls and it's like coming out in his vent in his bedroom. I was about to say, it, it's like right up against the air vent. <laughs> He's just like, oh, th- who is Liu Kang? I don't know. <laughs> Goro sure sounds like a mess. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so glad yeah. that I don't have to deal with neighbors anymore. Like I have... I have, you know, house neighbors, but yeah. there's brick walls in between us and space, so yeah. I don't I don't have any problems with them. Oh, my, there's a huge problem in our neighborhood right now. I haven't even told you about this. Have I told you about the egrets? No. Okay, so I have been hearing fireworks for the past, like, two weeks in the morning, usually. Okay. And I was like, Someone's right. happy to wake up. Yeah, I was like, that's, that's weird, you know, set off fireworks at 8.22 on a Tuesday morning, but... At least it's just going to be the one day. Yeah. And then I continued to hear the fireworks for the rest of the day and then the rest of the week and then in two weeks. And <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's happening. So I texted my mom and I was like, Mom, I just need you to confirm that I'm not having an auditory hallucination. Do you hear fireworks in the morning? And she was like, um, I don't. But the dog has been going crazy every morning this week. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay. <laughs> so the dog and I are hearing fireworks. I have and, ultra uh, hearing. Yeah. Well, I, I swear, it's it's like someone is firing off. If, I, if somebody was being executed outside with an automatic weapon, like if there was some madman on the loose, I would oh have no God. way of knowing because it just sounds like constant gunfire outside. And so I posted on um, like the neighborhood forum, like an old white lady, like anybody else hearing that noisy fireworks in the morning? <laughs> and like I got some replies and people were like, yes, I'm hearing them. What is that? Thank God. And... Somebody finally was like, oh, you know what? It's the egret deterrence measurements. And I'm like, what are egret deterrence measurements? Uh (laughs) So I go on the city website and like do some searching. And apparently there was a big problem with egrets last year. They nested in the neighborhood that I'm in. And uh, egrets apparently like just have so much poop in their bodies that they cover the streets and sidewalk in total poop mayhem and people were like getting sick and they couldn't drive through it because there was so much bird poop uh and so this year they decided that every time they see an egret trying to make a nest they're gonna fire a flare gun what every single time somebody sees an egret there's like people employed by the city driving around in little golf carts with little yellow vests hey, and they're hey, firing hey, off hey egret hey egret <laughs> go yes. away they're- they're just like shooting flare guns, like, hey, Egret, pew, get that out of is here. That's insane. Get... I, I want that job, please. Yeah, how do you get hired on as like the Egret deterrence guy? Give me a flare gun. <laughs> uh, I, I like want my name badge, walk into Brahms, and I lean back in the booth and just be like, chased <laughs> off a couple Egrets today, get my ice cream for free. I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but I don't know how long I can deal with, like, constant well, I flare I guess guns. you need to uh, research your birds and yeah. find out their find migration out patterns. How long egret nesting season is. I just, it's, 
how, is there a better solution? Like, what, how, I want to be a fly on the wall at that city council meeting. Like, how do we get rid of the egrets? Well, I've got an idea. Just give me a golf cart and a yellow vest and a flare gun and I'll take care of these egrets for you. I love this man. Whoever came up with that. It's a great idea. <laughs> I just, like, for real, got to it, was, way. it was a guy that, like, I don't know. He was on eBay and he was like, ooh, a flare gun. And he just, like, <laughs> accidentally bought it, and it accidentally came with, like, 5,000 rounds. And he was like, <laughs> how am I going to get rid of all these? And he heard about the egret problem and said, two birds, one stone. Or, well, <laughs> two like egrets, one, birds. one flare. <laughs> one flare gun. That's what's happening in my neighborhood. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> I love this. It's... It, it's like one of those things that you're like, that's probably not real, but that's the stuff that like you can't make up. I know. Of course, our city would just decide to do that. So, <sighs> listeners, if you live in a place that has ever had like a weird city ordinance thing trying to do whatever, <laughs> please let us know what wild stuff you've had to deal with because of some animal infestation or whatever. Yeah, do you have people out there wrangling coyotes and you'll live best with flare guns? Someone's going to write and be like, well, I mean, we used to have giraffe problems. I'm a pro-giraffe wrestler. <laughs> you just, you just got to get them to stick their tongues out and you grab them and then you say, come <laughs> on with me! And you drag them off. <laughs> um, so I have prepared a game for you. Okay. Can I, can I give you the game? I'm very ready for this game. I love games. Okay. I'm so excited because I've been thinking about this since we last potted, and I'm just... Oh my god. Okay. I know. Okay. All right, so last time, well, not last time, but like several times ago, I uh, remember we were talking about Honeycrisp apples and how nothing can top a Honeycrisp apple. Yes. Uh, I decided that I should probably broaden my apple horizons, so I started looking up various apple names. Okay. Apple names are buck wild. <laughs> Is that the name of an apple? <laughs> Well, probably. I mean, there's there's so many good apple names out there that uh, I don't think that you're going to be able to pick out the apple names on this list because... Okay, so I have a list of 18 items. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> some of them are apples, and some of them are Kentucky Derby winning horses. Oh, crap. Okay. And, and I need you to tell me which ones are which. Which one is which? Okay. Yeah, okay. so I'll give you the name of something. So say I were to say Honeycrisp, you would say... Apple. Yeah, you got it. But if you were to say sea biscuit, I go horse. Horse. <laughs> okay. So are you super ready? It's your game of is it an apple or a horse? Apple or horse. Welcome. Behind door one we have Enterprise. Enterprise? Enterprise. Horse. Apple. <gasps> really? <laughs> Why? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Get ready. Okay. Okay, number two, Silver Charm. Horse. You're correct. That's a horse. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Ding, 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 What about Gravenstein? Ooh, that is a supreme apple. That's an apple. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I have not okay. had this apple, but I want to try it now. You're doing pretty good. You got two for three. Okay. Okay, Northern Spy. Northern Spy. Horse. That's an apple. Ah, dang it. Damn it. <laughs> what about Northern Dancer? Okay, see, see, that's the thing. You would put two side by side. One's going to be an apple and one's a horse. Since the first one Are was sure? apple, this is a horse. You're correct, it's a horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, what about Big Brown? Big Brown. I really want that to be an apple. <laughs> Because it sounds gross. I'm going to go with an apple. It's a horse. <laughs> Damn it. Would you eat a brown apple? <laughs> no. Hey, hey, toss me one of the big browns. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that. Big brown. <laughs> that would be the All worst right. apple. Yeah, it would. I don't want a brown apple. Please keep it away. <laughs> I had to give that point up because that, that would have been the best apple name. Okay. What about Ruby Frost? A Ruby Frost? That's an apple. That's an apple. That's an apple. That sounds like That's a great apple. apple. Uh, what about Pink Star? See, I feel like that's a trick. But I'm going to go with my gut, Alex. What is an apple? 
What's a horse? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, back on the color themes. California chrome. Ooh, man. That's totally a horse. That's a horse. Okay. Because I was but, like, somebody was like, oh, yeah, he's like my Cadillac. I'm going to call him California chrome. Cadillac. He's so fast. Just as fast as chrome. All right. Stayman wine sap. That is such a weird name that it could totally be a horse. Stayman wine sap. But see, it's got the sap in it. Trees. I'm going apple. That's some good logic. That's an apple. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, right. I should be an apple farmer. All right, that's your new career. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty um, good at knowing what's a good apple name. I can tell apples from horses. <laughs> <laughs> I know which ones can eat which. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay, Sunny's Halo. That's a horse. That's a horse. You're doing so good. Oh, yes. This you only missed four game. so far. Well, one okay. was one was intentional, so. <laughs> you just had to give up the big brown. I had to. I mean, come on. Big brown. <laughs> big brown. Okay. Gato del Sol. Gato del Sol. Gato del Sol. I don't know how to say anything in Spanish, but it's Spanish for apple. <laughs> oh, it's Spanish for cat of the sun, which is a horse. <clears throat> okay. So close. Okay. What about Ashmead Colonel? Oh, dude. He's a horse. He's... That's an apple. What? I know. Oh, God. <laughs> that, Ashmead Colonel. That sounds like such a dapper horse's name. Like, oh, look at him. Hmm. These are all such good horse names, right? Like, I, I had a hard time <laughs> deciding which one of these. I had a much easier time finding apples that sounded like horses than finding horses that sounded like apples. <laughs> so, here's my question, though. Okay. <laughs> What was the thought that you were like, huh, apple names are weird. Horse names are weird. Yeah. Are they similar? That and was then the, you just that was the entire it? line of thought. <laughs> Man, I'm okay, like on you a got four more. Today. These last four are really good. Okay. 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 Cox's Orange Pippin. <clears throat> Can you use it in a sentence? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say it again. Cox's Orange Pippin. Cox's Orange Pippin. Yeah, so Cox's is like C-O-X apostrophe S. Yeah, okay. It's what I was picturing. I'm gonna say, that's a horse. That's an apple. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm losing right. my touch here. I'm losing my You're touch. You're losing it. Okay. These last okay. ones are difficult. Okay. Okay, buckle down. Okay. Chateau Gay. <laughs> I'm very mature. <laughs> um... <laughs> That's a horse. That's a horse. Yes. Chateau Gay. I'm only doing it because the last one was an apple. Okay. Because I was like, that's a good apple name. But <laughs> but you're not going to give me two apples in a row. I've given you two apples in a row several times. I'll have you know. Hey, don't question the logic, okay? All right. Okay. All right. Peas good, none such. Whoa. Yeah. Peas good. Like, these peas are good. Uh-huh. None such like these peas. Yes. Okay. <laughs> peas good, none such. That's a horse. Because horses eat peas. But no, it's an apple. Shit! <laughs> like, I'm picturing, like, the fanciest horse with a monocle and everything, and he's, peas good, none such. <laughs> none such as good as these peas, my oh, good sir. Oh, my God. Okay. You ready for the last one? I am ready for the last one. I'm, all right, you gotta get I am this. ready. This is for all the apples. Okay. And all the horses. Oh, man. Okay. Zestar. With an exclamation point at the end. That is part of the legal name of this item. Is it a Z? Like Zestar. Zestar. Z-E-S-T-A-R. Exclamation point. Okay. It's zesty. Whatever the Zestar is. Okay. Is it a zesty fast horse? Okay. Is it a zesty apple? I'm... I'm... I'm thinking of foods, right? Not many food names have punctuation in them, so I'm tempted to go for a horse where you can have a whole prince situation and have symbols in your name. What? Hey, I gotta logic it out, okay? Doesn't okay. mean it's good logic. It, but, because, your final answer? but because it's zesty, it's a 
Zestar. Zestar. That horse. Like jazz hands. That horse is a star. He is Zestar the horse with an exclamation point. Final answer. It's a horse. It's an apple. Shit. <laughs> You did, uh, you know, not bad. You missed eight out of 18. Okay. All right. So I did a little over half. A little over half. All right. Isn't it difficult, bad. though? Yeah. Horse names are so wild. I would have never, I, I just would have never pictured such wild names for an apple. I know. I love, I love Kentucky Derby horse names because, because they come up with the... Who's going to go to the store? Hey, um, you guys have any Granny Smith apples? No. Uh, Red Delicious? No. Golden Delicious? No. None such peas good? Or peas good and none such? And they go, oh, yeah, dude, those are in the back. We got a whole pile of those right next to the Ashmead kernels. Like, come on. No. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that. That's insane. That was fun. Man, I'm ashamed of myself, though. I was doing so good. You were doing pretty good. You started out strong. I really thought I was going to do better. Yeah, you're such a fan of horses and ponies. Yeah. You want to tell the listeners uh, what cup you're drinking out of right now? So, um, you know those cups that you can get, like, at Walmart and stuff? They're usually, like, 99 cents, the little plastic cups or whatever? Yeah, that you're supposed to get for children's parties? Uh, yes, those things. (laughs) They make great glassware, I'll tell you what. It's true. Uh, Like, we have tons of the small ones and, like, a couple of, like, the big ones, right? Yeah. So I'm drinking out of the big one. I guess that would be a 16-ouncer? Mm-hmm. This would be a 16-ounce pink My Little Pony cup right now. (laughs) Does it have uh, all the ponies on it or just one? Yes, the main six are on here. Oh. Main six, M-A-N-E. Jesus. I don't know why I hang out with you. (laughs) You know what? I told someone at work that uh, I had ponies on my desk, and I haven't heard from them in a couple days. Because they left your office and never came back. (laughs) You're not supposed to like My Little Pony. I'm not supposed to, but it's so good. It's true, though. I watched the first couple of seasons because you wouldn't stop talking about it, so (laughs) I had to give in. Granted, though, it has been a while since I have watched it. Really? Are you watching um, the the sad end? Like, it's coming to a, an end now, right? So, this episode's gone on a little while. But let's get into the meat of our discussion here today. <laughs> um, so, I thought we could kind of talk about things that we like, but most people either would judge you or say that you shouldn't like it. Yeah. And probably my number one... What? Sorry, I just... There was a thing from last episode that I wanted to touch on, but okay. should we do it now or should we do it later? Go ahead and do it now while it's <gasps> fresh. Okay, yeah, I just gasped. Um, so last episode we were talking about collections, and I was like, you know, I don't really collect anything. Uh-huh. And <laughs> we were doing the dishes later on that night, and I was telling... See, you do have spoons. Well, it's it's not spoons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you so into spoons? <laughs> That's just like no. the thing you have. Okay. So I was I was t- t- like that, telling Richard about um, the the podcast episode and what we talked about, and I was like, I don't really have a collection. I'm kind of a non collector. And he looked at me. Did he just like? <laughs> yeah, right. So he like stared into my soul, and he opened up the cabinet mm-hmm. where I keep all my coffee mugs. It was like. You ever, like, pull back the couch and find your dog's collection of, like, single socks that he's stolen yeah. from you? And then the dog looks at you like, don't look at my shame. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And he's, like, starting to pull out these coffee mugs. I have probably close to, like, 50 coffee mugs. Dude. Because I just love them so much. I thought we had a problem. We, we just purged a whole bunch of mugs. And we had maybe 20. And I thought like that was so many. crazy. I I love coffee mugs. Like, every time I see one on sale, I'm like, ooh, coffee mug. And I just, you know, buy six of them. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, I'm big into glassware. Like, I just love a cup that looks super fancy. But I don't buy, like, a, a whole set. Cup. I'll just buy one. Ooh, that's a nice cup. And I'll buy it. Sometimes you gotta. So I had tons of flutes. 
I had a couple champagne glasses. They just look nice. Ooh, so fancy. Yeah, they're all gone. You just got rid of them in the purge? Actually, you know what I just got rid of that you might be a little mad at? Oh, no. I had an angry orchard glass. Oh! It was a pint glass, and the angry tree was like was like embossed on the front, and like he stuck out, so like it you wasn't a smooth rid cup. Of it? Yeah, I got rid of it. Oh man, I don't use it. I'm yeah. trying to be better. I told you that's fair. <laughs> but like, it's it it is so uncomfortable to use because your thumb is either like covering his nose, and you're like, sorry to smother you, Deku tree. <laughs> but so. Alright, so what prompted this one was I did learn the other day that the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic TV show is coming to a close in season 9. Following the Seinfeld rule. Thank you very much. Seinfeld rule. (laughs) That's like the thing. That's where you cap out? Nine seasons? Yeah, uh, like Jerry had said that like after 9 you pretty much aren't going to be fresh anymore. so, So you should end your show. I thought they had ten seasons. They just had nine? I think they had nine. Hmm. But that'll be part of our discussion as well. Because I figured we could tell things that we like, that everyone else goes, hmm, and then things that everybody else is like, oh, yeah, and then we don't like. Okay. So, yeah, like, there is a rule in TV that you typically should try to end at about nine seasons. So King of Queens did it. Friends, I think, was ten. Friends went so long. I think it went longer than it needed to. I think it was 10. But yeah, like, a lot of shows typically try to hit 9. Like, 9 and done. Alright. If it's like a sitcom. I don't think, like, drama shows really follow that same standard, you know? Yeah, Supernatural just decided that the 15th season's gonna be their last. Yeah, I still have not seen many episodes of that, so uh, I'm Man, that's one thing that... I don't know. There's like two camps of Supernatural. People that like super, super love it. And then people think that it's just cheesy and terrible. They super love it. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Uh, I watched the first like seven seasons, I think. But I didn't watch them as they aired. I watched it on Netflix like way after the fact. Yeah. Yeah. And they were good. But there there came a point where I was like, this show is giving me nothing anymore. (laughs) Like it got... It, it's just the same ideas rehashed over and over. So. Yeah, so I don't know how Taylor came across it, but she was like, hey, I kind of want to watch this show. Would you want to watch it? And I was like, okay. So we watched the first one together, episode one. Supernatural? Yeah. Like, we watched it, and I was like, yeah, that was good. Like, let's watch more tomorrow. And I talked to her the next day and go, hey, you want to watch that show? And she's like, I'm in season five. And I was like, I'm done then. <laughs> <laughs> like she literally just watched just didn't stop that's uh that's just how you start supernatural i don't know like the first few seasons i i binged pretty hard yeah so she watched literally non-stop from that day and season 10 was about to start so she cranked out nine seasons in like a week oh my god and watched the season premiere of episode season premiere of 10 right yeah. Never watched it again. She was wow. she was just so burned out and then when she had to wait for one, she just was like, I'm not gonna go back for that. That's that's how I was with um shit, what was the name of that show with the robots and the cowboys on HBO. Damn it. Mm, oh god, what's the name of it? Westworld. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the first um the first season we binged it like right before season two started because I was like everyone talks about Westworld I really want to watch it and so we watched it and it was incredible and I was like this is amazing I love it this is the best show on TV and then season two started and I like fell asleep every episode we watched <laughs> and I was like I can't do it anymore. So I've come to learn something about myself recently. Do tell. I don't really like TV at all. Like people ask me you know what shows do you like and all this stuff yeah and i don't have many because i don't i think i've learned that i don't like serialized bite-sized things like podcasts (laughs) well no because that's kind of it's it's not like an overarching thing you know that's true like especially our podcast when i'm watching a tv show it's gonna go somewhere i'm ready for it to get there i don't want to wait 15 weeks to find out what's gonna happen 
Yeah. You know, like, I kind of don't read comic books, and I didn't know why I kind of got bored with them, and I think it's because I'm always having to wait for what's actually going to happen later. Yeah, and then it never actually pays off. I've just, I've just never been a big TV person. And there's so many shows that everybody wants me to watch, but I just can never motivate myself to do it. Yeah, I feel like TV, I don't know, I could I could take it or leave it. Like, I do watch a lot of it just because it's there, but I feel like if I got rid of my TV, I, I would not lose much of my life. Yeah. TV just takes up so much time. because It really does. Because they, because they do drag it out, so I think that's why I like movies. I get it done. It's over. Like, I can watch that and, like, feel good and concluded for the most part. You See, know? but you're a fan of, like, the Avengers movies, right? Yeah, but each one is, like, its own thing, though. But there's, like, a hundred of them, and they all... You have to... That's one thing that I'm not a fan of, that everyone's like, I can't believe we don't like the Avengers, but I feel like every single movie, like, it's it's like a comic book in movie form, and I'm not into that, I guess. Yeah. There's just too much, and there, you can't, like, watch... I can't just jump into it and, like, watch Infinity War, you know? I have to know who all these people are. Oh, no, it's not my router over. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm talking about my hands over here. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I almost hit the cat. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I know, I'm so mean. You're okay. Okay. That was the most wild panic. Sorry. <laughs> but like, I feel like in that scenario, that's the one movie that you can't, you know? Like, that, like, Infinity War is the one movie I would not be able to watch? Every other one... It's got, like, its tiny little story. Okay. Yeah. I noticed this I mean, when I was editing the other day. I say like a lot, and I'm picking it up every time, <laughs> and I'm trying to not say it. It's such a good word. <sighs> it's a good placeholder. But it is a movie. That one is the culmination of ten years worth of stuff. It was That's that, too right? too much. That's so much. But, and I think they got another one, didn't they? Isn't there, like, an Infinity War two or something coming out yeah so end game comes out next month end game and it's like a six hour movie or something it's gonna be like three hours i can't wait that's too much it's like the titanic but i like titanic I too well, i love titanic but in each one like you have something that wraps up you know there's like a main plot that is in that movie i guess all of and these things it... are happening i'm not trying to say oh you should watch them the greatest things you'll ever see because, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, they're not. I do love yeah. them. They're, like, I, I have enjoyed, like, the few I've seen, I guess. I don't know, for the most part. I, I liked the one with the raccoon. What's his name? Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy and Rocket yes. Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon, he's so but cute. But see, those ones specifically are very different from, from the rest of them. Are they? Like, <laughs> They are very fun. <laughs> What's that noise? The, I, I just heard myself say like again. <laughs> <laughs> They're very fun, and they weren't necessarily related directly to what all the rest were, because they, they're yeah. like way off in space, where the rest were here on Earth, you know? Okay. But I also, not being a big comic reader, I don't know a lot of this stuff. And so they've kind of been learning things for me. I don't really know who Captain America is. So yeah. when so when that movie came out, I was just interested to know, hey, what's his deal? I've always, you know, known about this character. Am I going to like him? And right. I loved him. He was great. I mean, really, I was just sitting here waiting around for Spider-Man to come out, and it was fantastic. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I do love Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. You need to see Into the Spider-Verse, the cartoon one. Yeah, I do. It looks <gasps> good. Oh, it's so good. You're so good. Oh, man. I was having a uh, emotional day that day. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, great segue right back into our conversation. Because the other day when uh, I was packing, getting ready for the move, right? Yeah. I had turned on Into the Spider-Verse. And so I was watching that. And I mean, it's it's emotional. When these Marvel movies came out, the only person I knew was Spider-Man. I don't know yeah. Iron Man, Thor. I don't care about those people, really. Even Even now, still. I like Spider-Man. That's where my heart lives. And this Spider-Man movie is so beautiful to the whole core and character of Spider-Man and what he stands for and means. 
And yeah. I cry like a baby in that movie. It's so good. Aww. Oh, it's so good, though. Um, not cry like sad, but it just hits so hard and makes you think, just like, man, he is so good, and he's doing all this good stuff. It's just great. So anyway, I'd watch that movie while I was packing and doing stuff, and I was a little emotional, and then I was like, I want to watch another movie, but I don't want to get into anything, like, too heavy or hard, right? Yeah. So I was going through my voodoo, and I was like, Psh, all right, I've only seen this the one time. Let's watch it again. Turned on the My Little Pony movie. <laughs> And they stoned Derpy Hooves, who's my favorite. And I was like, oh, Derpy, you're dead, man. They stoned her? Like the... So <laughs> this this one evil pony comes in, and she's, like, turning people to stone. Oh, I thought you meant, like, they threw rocks at her and, like, oh, ostracized no. her. <laughs> if they did that to my Derpy, I'd be mad. But anyway, Derpy Hooves is, like, my favorite. And in the movie... They're turning people to stone, and she jumps in front of it to save Twilight or whatever. And I was all Aww. sad, because I was like, you're so good and pure, I love you. So you started crying at that, too. A little bit, yeah. God, you're a mess. <laughs> it was an emotional day, man. Spider-Man, ponies. Moving. Yeah. But so that's that's a thing that I like, that I know, and probably shouldn't like. But I did learn, I kind of have a history with it. You ready? With My Little Pony or with, like, liking things that people don't like? Well, why Why I kind of like that show. Oh, yeah. When I was younger, Powerpuff Girls had come on, right? I love Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, it's Powerpuff Girls. Boys shouldn't really be watching it, you know? That's true. Yeah. But, like, I also didn't have cable, so I couldn't watch it. Oh. But, but, like, when it would come on at, like, my cousin's houses or whatever, I was like, this show's kind of good. It is a good show. Yeah, I know. Well, the same lady that created the Powerpuff Girls created this version of My Little Pony. Oh. Which is why it's so appealing to me, because I was drawn to Powerpuff Girls as well. Yeah. Like, they're dynamic, and you know how they have some of that adult humor, too. Like, the little girl that tells the professor, my parents said I was an accident, and all that stuff. (laughs) Yeah. Like, him? That dude? I fucking love him. Oh, my God. Yeah. You can't tell me that is a normal thing to put in a child's television show. <laughs> He's an idol. He's perfect. Yeah. Who does but, his voice? Is it Tim Curry? I, I don't even know. I hope it's Tim Curry. I have to look this up because... Okay. But so, like, think about that. Think about how Powerpuff Girls was around and created, right? Think of the weird things that were in it. That yeah. same type of stuff is in the My Little Pony show. Oh my god, he was voiced by Tom Kane, who is apparently Magneto in Wolverine. But that's a movie I haven't seen. That's so cool. I... But yeah, so... Oh, his hobbies are um, enjoying psychological torture and doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta get off of the, the him wiki. <laughs> so, I like the Powerpuff Girl show, which I still... I mean, I know it's on Hulu and stuff. One day I'm actually gonna sit... I've never even watched it still to this day. Oh, you should watch it. Fuck toxic masculinity. You so, can watch a show about little girls. <laughs> well, clearly, since I've watched My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah. But, so, that's coming to an end. Well, Lauren Faust, who created those two shows, is making another show, and you know I'm gonna oh, be on making? that shit. She's making a DC superhero show, so it's all the women superheroes. Interesting. So it's like Batgirl, Supergirl, all that kind of stuff, and it's another cartoon, it's made by her. I know I'm going to dig it the same way, so I'm going to be on that day one like I was not for these two. Because <laughs> I even came into My Little Pony late. Did you? Oh, yeah. I came in, like, season two oh. and kind of got into it, and then season three, I fell out. Yeah. Which any bronies in here might know of that whole thing. Oh, my God. Don't say that word. <laughs> I mean, I do have another one, but that one's not even... That's not something that like people know about, though. What is it? Can I know about it? Oh, I mean, you know what it is, because the thing that you don't like either. What? Uh, zombie Tramp. Oh, I just don't know about it. I like yeah, the pictures no you sent me. Her. I mean, she's cool. But I also <laughs> haven't read that in a while, either. It's been a while. Yeah. See, TVs and comic books, and I fell out of them. It's freed up a lot of time in your life, I'm sure. It has. But I want to catch up on the show so I can watch the, the last season in real time. For no reason. 
But just to do it. <laughs> so you can be part of the zeitgeist. Yeah. Do you have anything that you like that you shouldn't like? I've been trying to think about it, but like, as far as media goes, I'm not sure. So basically you use this just to oust me as a brony. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Evo, look at him. Look at the brony. I would shame him. <laughs> but yeah, so you have any last messages for our uh, beautiful listeners? I got nothing today. Just, you know, stay away from the egrets. Well, I guess I'll say if there are any other fellow bronies please listening please stop to using this. that word. <laughs> bronies. Ugh. Um, feel free to hit me up, talk about it, catch me up on whatever's happening. You're going to get so much mail about it. All right, listeners, um, please, 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 please visit us on social media. Uh, you can find us at YMBTOAP on Twitter and Instagram. Email us at YMBTOAP at gmail.com. And our theme song is The Grim Reaper Blows the Horn by Farage. You can find our podcast on Not SoundCloud. Maybe it's SoundCloud. Libsyn. Libsyn. We finally have a place. We're on Libsyn. Yep. We have finally signed up for a server. We got our space. Uh, RSS feeds will probably be in all the show notes or whatever. But uh, we recorded the SoundCloud bit before we did that. But please, yep. you can find us on Libsyn. And we will be We've going to more platforms. this whole time. Because they will help us get to the iTunes, which I've had a lot of people that I've told about. They go, well, can't I find it on iTunes? Because I guess that's the only place people do podcasts. Also Spotify. Spotify just bought like six podcasting companies. Well, we will be on iTunes and Spotify at some point. I assure you we will make a big announcement when we are. Yes, it'll be all over Twitter and Instagram. Please follow us. You know it. And as always, thanks for listening, and tune in next time to get the answer to that burning question. But we had one more important sound we wanted you to hear. All right, should we count up to it? Like one, two, three, bop, bop? Yeah. So, one, three, two, one. Blah, blah. One. <laughs> One, three, two, one.